welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center and um, I'm gonna try something new I'm gonna ask you to like the video before you've seen it, it gives a lot more likes <laughs> thank you um, three weeks ago I made a video about trying to upgrade uh, this server with two extra disks like expanding the disk array in, in the server and I was unsuccessful and um, the link for that or the, yeah, the name of that video will be here I can't see my hands but right there and I was unsuccessful I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to do that and uh, in the comments of that video a guy called Bonelock I don't know what that means but he wrote that it might be because I have more than one virtual drive and I thought okay so I can have more than one virtual drive that sucks but I'm gonna try it out anyway but let's just have a look at it here is the test computer and luckily I didn't delete it yet let's see this is my YouTube videos and this is the video that I was talking about and it's three weeks old and in the comments Born Luck wrote me I guess you can't expand due to your disk group contains more than one virtual disk this, you might try creating only one virtual disk and yeah I did that um, or actually I went in and deleted the two more that I had and another thing here Mr. Bonelock he, uh, he was very mean he sent me a link to this system it's a PDF file and the bloody thing was 432 pages long and he just wrote you can reference to the user manual below okay 400 and 32 pages and um, here you go this is how you do it I had to go through ah, some of it I did cheat and read the index yeah on another note if this was a real server and not just something that I'm testing on you would never go and do anything with your Internet Explorer just if it's a professional server you don't use Internet Explorer on the server this is just a test server so this is the disk controller and I have the the virtual drive number zero which is the one that contains the operating system and I have virtual drive number one which is just a it's like a tool utility drive and then there's the data drive I deleted those two and I could see that I got some more, some more options so I wanted to show you that we're inside the the IBM Mega Rate storage controller. We have the rate controller right here and it has a disk group, disk group zero, that's a rate five, and it contains of these contains these drives. And we have these two drives down here. And there there are extra drives that are put in the server. What's the other video? And on these four drives I have configured three virtual drives right now so what I want to do now is I want to show you that with these two extra drives I don't get the options to expand them so if I set the mouse on my virtual drives oh wait a minute no I think it's on this one on this group and go up to go to there is absolutely nothing here all of these uh, has been there can you see those? Oh, I have to zoom in I'll go. they're oh they're all grey there I can't select those I can I can't press the arrows or anything they're just grey but if I like delete these drives down here oh, 
What I found is if I delete these drives, the two extra virtual drives, confirm, yes. Um, yes. Rich. Come on, we're waiting for you. There we are. Now there's only the operating system left. And if I mark the disk group now and go to go to Ripti, now there's suddenly a disk group that's available and if we press that, we can modify this group. And it says that it's advisable to back up your data before this operation. Mm, this is only a test server. If this is anything seriously, I just deleted two drives. And that would really suck. They were empty. I'm gonna confirm this and say yes. And here it has, it has the different the different disks that are in this disk group and what we can actually do is down here we can select another RAID level if we want to change this to RAID 0 or RAID 1 we can do it but I want to continue this on RAID 5 so that's what I'm gonna select RAID 5 and it says something smart I'm not gonna read that we're gonna go next and it asks us if we want to add these two drives. You have selected RAID 5 to migrate to RAID 5. You need to add at least one drive to the configuration, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to add both of them. Both of them. And click, click the next button down here. Go. And it gives us um, a summary of what we're doing. And we're gonna get 2.269 terabytes. <laughs> That's nice. Finish. This operation cannot be stopped. Do you wanna continue? Sure. So now it should be expanding my rate. Let's see what we can see. Check consistency, show progress, ongoing, nothing. It's a little bit sad. I can see what's what's it's what it's doing anyway. I hope it's doing something. Well, it has done something. The two uh, discs down here that was not in use, they're gone. So hopefully they're being merged in to the. To the to the drives up here, and we're gonna see about that. I'm gonna gonna refresh it and see what happens. If anything is going on. Oh oh, it's doing something. Seven <laughs> percent. It's no, it's not. It's not because it's gonna take long. It's like thirty six minutes. Okay, that's nice. I'm not gonna record 36 minutes of a progress bar, so we'll get back to this. Okay, th this is not the best thing ever. I just, I've been away doing something else and I, I came out here to see how the progress bar was doing and it, it was still on 7%, even though it's at least 10 minutes since I've been here last. And what I found out is it, it doesn't move. To make it move, you have to close the window, and can you see that? Yeah, that's like an update, refresh thing, you have to press right there. And then that gets to be an hourglass for, for a bit, and there. And then you can go on the manage and show progress, and then something will have happened. Now there are six disks over here. Let's see if it's completed. Show progress. It's not completed yet. It's at 73%. Okay, it's done. Uh, 
I've been doing other things. I have no idea how long this took, but it looked pretty accurate about the 36, 39 minutes that it said that it was gonna take when, when I started it. Now there is the six discs and the, the disc space has expanded. And this drive has expanded too. That was like 68 gigabytes when I started and now it's like 130 gigabytes and well I didn't really want wanted that to grow I don't know if there's any chance of of doing anything with that to make it smaller again like I was okay with that being 68 gigabytes and now it's suddenly 130 gigabytes which um, well hmm. set virtual drive properties can we so there might be an option somewhere to to make that drive smaller again and I could I could now probably go in and create new drives new virtual drives um, so yeah it did expand it. it it worked yeah so through through YouTube I got this up and running uh, it didn't do exactly what I had hoped for I really wanted the all the virtual disks to be in there because if you saw the other video I wanted to do this at work and there was data on those disks and it, it wasn't just one terabyte it was like nine terabytes of data that I have to delete or copy somewhere else and then delete the virtual drive to to be able to expand the virtual drives or the disk group actually more the disk group so I would have to move all the data away and then expand the disk groups and then make the virtual drives again and copy back in the data. That would be a hassle. So it's it's working but it's mm, ah, it wasn't exactly what I had hoped for. But it works. Thank you for that assistance, Mr. Bonelock. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people out there because I, I was searching on this when I was doing the first video to find if anyone has solved this and I didn't find any so I will go and post this video on, on some forums and see if anyone benefits from it thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again have a really nice day bye bye